Hey, you guys, I am Cortland, the owner of Love Lily Flowers, and I've been using every stem for a few months now, and I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about my experience. It has been so good, let me tell you. So before I was introduced to every stem, I desperately needed something, a tool like this to help me with my ordering um, and to help me with my profitability and my margins and all those things. So I would order in bulk. I'd kind of look at my invoice and see um, how like what my flower budget for that event would be. I would order flowers online, just kind of guessing how many roses, how many bunches of greenery, how many like fancy focal filler flowers, things like that. Um, and ultimately I knew that I was losing money and I knew that it was adding a lot of stress to my design weeks because I didn't have it planned out beforehand for my designers. And now with every stem, I know that I'm hitting my margins because before I've even ordered the flowers, I'm able to um, use the program to see if I'm, if I'm actually being profitable. Um, and then also I'm able to print off the Excel sheets and just hand them directly to my designers. And then they are able to do their job and what they're good at. And I'm not having to micromanage and just watch and make sure they're not using all those quicksand roses that I needed for the ceremony and the bridesmaid bouquets. All right, you guys, so I am going to show you how I put together my formulas here on every stem. So today I figured it'd be good to do a bridesmaid bouquet. This particular wedding is a big one. We have 12, a whopping 12. Isn't that the best? Here we go. So I have, I'm just gonna show you how I typically do it. I have on my screen, every stem pulled up here. Over here, I have my vision board for the event that I put together. And then I also pulled pictures of the flowers that I'm planning on ordering. Um, so here I've done a lot of the work beforehand on um, the vision board. On, on my vision boards, I like to include the last, on the last page, just like unfiltered pictures of flowers. That's basically what I'm doing over here too. So now that I have my every stem page pulled up my vision board, and then I'm also using these flowers here, um, I am going to start adding my flowers here in the personal flowers page. So I have it arranged to where we have personal flowers, ceremony flowers, reception flowers, and here at the summary. Once I get them in, you'll be able to see them all. So here we go with the bridesmaid bouquets. We're gonna add a flower. So I typically follow a general formula. I like to have something interesting, a sturdy base, whether that be um, foliage or some type of like flowering bush or something like that. Then I'll add a textural element, possibly some line flowers, definitely a few focal flowers, supporting flowers, and some little dancers. So I'm gonna start with my um, sturdy base. So you can see here, I have a variety of greenery. I like when I'm adding them in, I like to put the name of it and then a dash and then greenery. Sometimes I'll put the color. For this particular event, I'm going to add, let's see if I have it, jasmine. Yep, so here it is in greens. So I'm gonna add all. So I'm gonna look here again and see what other roses and linear pieces and things like that I'll need. So I'm gonna go here. I know for sure I want some O'Hara garden rose. Here it is, here we go. White O'Haras are pretty much in everything I make. I'm obsessed with them. I need some cappuccinos. These are roses that I use a lot, so they're already in the system, which is super nice. Makes it really quick. I'm gonna do Majolica. Okay, and then I'm gonna have some quicksand. I'm gonna have some sweet pea. I have here the brownie, which I love. I'm gonna have Playa Blanca. Can't go wrong with Playa Blanca. Cafe Latte. Oh, I don't, so I don't have cafe latte in the system already, so I'll just go here. I'll do create flower, rose, cafe latte, and then mauve. I do it just like this. I do rose, then a little dash, and then the name of the rose, and then a little dash, and then I do 
the color of the flower all in cap caps. So this helps me when I'm looking for a specific flower or a specific color, I can just type in rose and a whole list of all of my roses will come up or I can do it by color, type in mauve. It's awesome. I typically get cafe lattes for $4.99. So I'm gonna put them there. And there's usually 12 stems per pack. Save to library. There you go. Easy as that. So I'm just looking here. So we have a lot of my focal flowers already in. We have jasmine vine, which is um, my greenery. I'm going to add in some of my dancers. On my design board here, I have Queen Anne's Lace, but it's Orlia Lace season. So I would much prefer Orlia Lace, so I'm going to do that one instead. So I have seen that Phlox is available, and I absolutely love Phlox. So I'm going to add that in. And my daffodils. I'm going to go in and create a flower. Save to library. I always click to save to library because even if you're just using it once that year, if it's something really seasonal, you're you would definitely want to use it again the next year. So it just saves you time for the next year. So now we have all of my flowers here. Um, the last one is freesia that I wanna add. All right, so let's just go down here and make sure all of those things. Yep, so we have the phlox, we have the orlia lace. Now I'll go into my bridesmaid bouquet. So before the week even happens, I'll input all of the information. Sometimes I have one of my designers help me put that in beforehand. It makes it really quick and easy for me as I'm going in and adding the flowers. So here on the personal flowers, I had her go in, put in how many bridesmaid bouquets, how many boutonnieres, and then at the bottom, I made sure that we put in the quoted price. So this is the total of the 12 not just for one, you'll see. So now I'm gonna go in and as I'm creating the design, I wanna make sure I have all of my like dancey elements, um, but I'm also gonna keep going down and making sure that we're hitting our quoted price. We're not going over or below. So I wanna do two stems, let's do, let's do three to start, three stems of jasmine. And I usually do about five or six roses per, so we'll do, I like to do a mix of my roses. Sometimes I'll pick one to do two of, but I like them to reflect like the rest of the designs. So do one Majolica, one Quicksand. Let's do, we're gonna start off with two Sweet Peas. The awesome thing is this gives you a little bit of flexibility as you're designing. Um, so you can really just keep going back and checking and making sure you're not going over your cost. So I definitely wanna do two daffodils. I wanna add in some of that freesia, it smells so good. Let's do two phlox. And then we're going down, so we are over a tiny bit here. So we're gonna look at our recipe and see ways that we can um, bring down the cost a little bit. Not by much, because we're only $8 over, but there you go. So you notice I didn't add cafe latte roses in the bridesmaid bouquets. They're such a stunning flower, but at $4.99 a stem and the price that I quoted, I just knew that it wasn't gonna work for this, um, for the bridesmaid bouquets, but that's like a rose that I would add into the bridal bouquet. It's a little bit more of a high-end rose. So, I'm gonna switch it around a little bit. So my cappuccino roses are more expensive. So I'm gonna take that one out. We still have kind of that color with the quicksand and the sweet pea brownies. Those two colors combined kind of mix up that cappuccino color. Um, and I'm going to add in my Orlia lace instead of that. And that brings us with a positive difference of $23. So we could actually probably do two stems of this. <laughs> so you just have, it's like a little play with it. You have to go in. So now we're under or we're over by $15. Let's see. 
110. So actually this week I'm I know that I'm able to get it for 80 cents a stem because it's like a growers bunch but there's at least 10 stems. So I'm going to adjust that. And there we go. So I'm, I'm happy to leave it here at just a $5 positive difference. So we're going to go back through and just, this is where these pictures over here come in for me. So from what I've pulled, so I, I don't have, I have a little, I can actually do a little screenshot of this. So I have my Jasmine and I'm just going to go and kind of um, pull the flowers out over here to a new line here to make sure that the colors I have are going to um, go well together and kind of reflect the overall design. And we have the sweet peas, which are these right here, and some phlox, my fave, and one freesia, and the daffodils love these so much. So I, the reason I use these pictures is I think it really helps me sometimes like I am pretty visual as a, as a floral designer, but this helps me just be able to see it all out and make sure that the colors I want to be represented will be there. So now looking at this design, I can see I have some of that mauvey pink with those sweet peas. I have some of that sand color with the quick sand and also some like peachy blush here and there's also majolica usually even if you order white it usually has a little bit of blush color in it and then of course the whites come in with these flowers down here and i'll look at these photos that i have on the design board and then i'll look at these together and see if this is reflecting this these photos here in the design board and i really feel like they are so um here there's a lot of really light blushes, quicksand colors. Um, so I would be happy with this. If I looked at it and felt like I needed a little bit more pink for it to be cohesive with the overall design board, then I could add this in here. I really do like this one. I forgot to add this in here. So this is a secret garden rose. It's not actually a garden rose, it's just called secret garden, it's a standard. So I'm gonna add it and then you might have to go and add flower. There we go, add all. So here we go, all the way down. I am going to add in one of these. So here we're over again. So rather than having this one, the quicksand, I'm gonna add in this secret garden to bring in those pinks. Here we go. I'm gonna take this one out and I'm gonna keep that one in. And there we go. So we have a difference of 13, which I feel with such a big number, I feel like that's totally fine. You know, you have a little bit of wiggle room with this, with the bridesmaid bouquets that if there's like an extra, you know, piece of greenery or whatever you feel like it needs, you know that you have a little bit of wiggle room while you're designing, which is kind of nice. You know you have some wiggle room with your margins, which is awesome. So yeah, that's how I make my formulas for a bridesmaid bouquet. Um, there's, I'm still learning before I use every stem. I wasn't doing formulas at all, so I've really been working hard at getting this skill down because I know in the long run, um, it's it just really is setting my business up for success. So. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day.